Hello, everybody. We're Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, and this is Southwest Arkansas Virtual. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're supposed to be at the prayer cabin, and this is in April. You're seeing it in May. And, um, but you know the drill. <laughs> you know, we, so we're down here at the boat dock. Amen. Right up behind our house. And, and you know, Tim, I've heard a few birds. Oh, man, down at... And at that prayer cabin, word bird shows up. I mean, really, that thing would just, and just somebody said, your, your, your bird, uh, what'd they say? Sound yeah, your bird sound effects is turned up too loud. It wasn't a bird of sound effects. He was there in the tree. <laughs> Amen. We've got a few birds around here, but oh, not like word bird. Glory to God. Father, we just thank you and praise you. Oh, you're so good to us all. And we receive insight, ideas, and concepts into, the, the, into these days and times, this little bump in the road here that we've seen and we're experiencing. And we give you praise and honor for it. Thank you, Lord. We honor the mighty name of Jesus. Praise Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. You're everything to us, Jesus. And it's praise in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I, uh, <laughs> glory to God. Fear is not okay. It's, well, Brother Copeland, how do you keep from it? You resist it. You remember what Brother Hagin said? I'll tell you one thing. I'll never have the flu, Brother Hagin. I wouldn't say anything like that. Remember, I showed you that a couple of days ago. For anything in the world, don't you know the devil they hear you? And he just hollered at me. Yeah, I said it for his benefit. He's the one I want him. To, I want to hear, to hear it. Well, Gloria and I learned it from him. <laughs> and we learned back, I'm talking about 1967, 68. We learned, praise God, to say the same thing. Yep. In fact, we brought the kids in. We lived over there in that little house on, on Florentine, and they, they, were, they were just little. And uh, well, I brought them, we had, we had a table like this, and I said, okay, come on, kids, we're, we're going to take our flu shot. Sean's eyes got big and Kelly smiled and we sat around the table and we went to Deuteronomy 28 and in that 22nd verse, it says the Lord shall smite thee. Now, I, I don't have time to go into all of that, but they, where that came from, if you just read the chapter before, you'd understand it. They had one mountain the curse and one mountain the blessing, and they were standing up shouting at one the curse and shouting at the other the blessing. God didn't intend to curse them at all. But oh, the Lord will smite you. See, this is all covenant talk. And if you don't know about covenant, you just over your head. But with consumption, that's tuberculosis, with fever and inflammation, that's flu. That's flu. And so here we read that. And we turned over to Galatians 3.13. We've been redeemed from the curse of the law. And we said, okay, kids, say that. Flu is under the curse of the law. Flu is under the curse of the law. Fever's under the curse of the law. We've been redeemed from the curse of the law. Therefore, we're redeemed from fever and the flu. And we went back and we went forth and we went back and we went forth and we went back and we did it over and over and over and over and over and over. I tell you, I don't know how many times we said that until it just got buried up in their, their spirit and in their minds. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's what you need to be doing with your children right now. Back and forth until they realize. And, and two, all you have to do is turn over here to the 61st verse. And it just simply says, every sickness and every plague, which is not a plague mm -hmm. that's not written in this book of the law is under this curse. All of them. That includes COVID-19. That includes all of it. Everything comes from the devil's under that curse and we're redeemed from it. 
So say it out loud. I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. From the curse of the law. From the curse of the law. COVID-19. COVID-19. Is a curse of the law. Is a curse of the law. Therefore. Therefore. I will never have the flu of any kind. I will never have the flu. Again, hereafter, kind. forever. Hereafter, forever. Ha, brother. Calm yourself down. <laughs> And let's go over here to the book of Exodus. Glory be to God. And we will look at Exodus 23, 25. And you shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless you. You shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and water and I will take... I'll bless you. No make sense. Well, read the whole chapter. Behold, I sent an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place where I prepared. Beware of him, obey his voice, provoke him not. He's not going to put up with you. <laughs> but if you will indeed obey his voice and do what I speak, then I'll be an enemy to your en I'll be an enemy to COVID-19 for you. And he comes down here, and you shall serve the Lord your God, and your angel will see to it that your bread, your bread and your water is blessed, and I will take sickness from the midst yes, of you. Amen. There shall nothing be cast, will cast their young, nor be barren in the land, and the number of your days I will fulfill. Glory be to God. Oh, that's, man, that's covenant talk. So, ah, and we end, we end the, we're in, in, we're in the second covenant in the blood of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't get me started. Glory to I'm already started. Hallelujah. So fear is not okay. No, no. The spirit of fear. He's not given us a spirit of fear, but a power over him and love. Power, love, and a sound mind. Fear filled, worried mind, not sound. You make stupid decisions when you get under things like that. I remember it. Oh, glory. Right out on this lake, years and years ago, I was, I was just a kid. And uh, well, in uh, high school, And I had a little, a little, a little plywood uh, boat with a. Better, I think, think it had. Are you sure a plywood boat? Well, there, there was formed plywood, oh. and there were, there were outstanding boats, very fast boats, and it had a little thirty-five horse, challenge, a Mercury, I think it. You had didn't it. make it though. No, no, of course <laughs> okay. not. Okay. They, they were, they were really good boats. They were, they were light and strong, but they were made out of wood. They weren't made out of metal. And uh, and this guy came running up beside me there, and I'd forgotten the nasty remark he made. About your boat? Nah, he just being ugly. And I'm going to be ugly back. So I'm up here in the shallow water. And of course, that little boat's just sitting there like that. And it, you, the, it had a front seat here and a divider here and then it sat in the back. And there wasn't anybody in there but me, so the front end's kind of high. And dumb, dumb me, I'm, I'm, I'm up, you know, in that shallow water. And I was boy, I jammed that throttle down, and I mean, this yellow jacket, that little yellow jacket boat, I mean, that, that little rascal, wow, just took off, and I just ran over a fence post just like that. Just stuck it right through the bottom of the boat. I'm looking at that thing. I'm glad I missed that. Now listen to this. I had on a new watch. I didn't want it to get wet. So I took my shirt off and put it in my shirt pocket and put it up there and my boat's sinking. <laughs> Ain't no way you're gonna keep it from getting wet. The boat sunk. It went to the bottom. I like to drown. I got in there trying to get it off of that post, and I, and I, I thought, this is the dumbest thing I ever did in my life. So I just got out. 
and stood up. The water's about that deep. <laughs> dumb, dumb. <laughs> See, stupid. My, my watch is going to get wet. It's new, but who cares? I mean, it's going to get wet with the boat sinking. And that's the kind of that that's the kind of stupid things your mind thinks and just doesn't make any sense at all when you're worried, worried about your children, worried about your finances. And don't bother me right now, Gloria. I'm worried. Don't can't you see this? <laughs> no, you don't want to be doing that. That's just not a sound mind. So. He has taken sickness from the midst of us. I was driving out my driveway here one day several years ago, and I'd been confessing some things, and I was just particularly thrilled that morning. And I don't, I don't remember where I, where I was going. It's, oh, this probably, I don't know, seven, eight, ten years ago now. And I'm just driving out the driveway there toward the gate, and it hit me, and I shouted to him. I said, glory to God, I'll never be sick another day in my life hereafter forever, saith the Lord God. He's taken sickness from the midst of me, just shouting it. He didn't intend for us to be sick. Oh, no. And I hadn't been sick. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It's still working. Glory to God. Now then, let, let me remind you again, let's look back over here in Luke 8 once more because of what Jesus said there to Jairus when he said, stop the fear. In um, Luke 8, 49, and he said, oh, let me see here. Oh, that John 8 ain't going to work. <laughs> that didn't read quite right, Tim. Luke 8. <laughs> he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. While he yet spake, there come one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Your daughter's dead. Trouble not the master. I mean, they're just jammed in there. They're so close together. Jesus said to him and said, Fear not. You stop that fear and believe only. She shall be made whole. You stop it. You stop that fear right now. Believe only. Keep your faith going. You can't have fear and faith at the same time. They don't work together at the same time. They're both faith. They're both spiritual forces. One of them is faith in death and the other one's faith in life. One of them's faith in God and the other one's faith in the devil. But a couple of them born again, baptized in the Holy Ghost, I believe in healing, I talk in tongues, glory, God, 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 what do you mean it's not going to do me any good? Though you, though you speak in the tongue of men and angels and have not love or have fear, you're nothing but a lot of noise. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but that's what the book says. Now notice, here is what the Lord said to me right after 9-11. On the way, we were, we were in Washington, D.C. for a meeting there. And, and it had just happened, just, just well, we were there. This, it, it, that 9-11 was in September and October, and we were there right at the beginning of, the latter part of October, beginning of November. And I'm, I'm on the way to the venue, and I heard it, I heard it, I heard it, Fear tolerated is faith contaminated. Whoa. Fear tolerated is faith contaminated. Yep. Now, when, when you, before you got born again, before you were made a new creature, fear was part of your life. I mean, your, your spirit's full of fear because you just, you're connected to the devil if you're not connected to God. And that was in there all the time. But when you got born again, uh, you became a new creature. Old things passed away. That fountain of fear that was on the inside your spirit passed away and all things became new. Now you have a fountain of faith in there. 
and all things are of God because you've been made the righteousness of God. So I remember you looking out the window one day in the hotel where we were and there was a big fountain down there and this fountain was just mm -hmm. shooting up strong. And you made the statement. You said that, that, that force of that fountain's coming up out of there. Now, whatever was in that pipe before they turned that, whatever junk had gotten in there yeah. before they turned that on, when they turned that big fountain on, man, it just got rid of everything that was in that pipe. That's right. So that's like what, that's what happened to us when we got born again. But now when you feed fear in there, you feed it in there by thinking about the wrong stuff and, yeah. and, and saying the wrong things. I'm afraid, well, you going with me? No, I'm afraid not. Why? My feet are just killing me. <laughs> Come on, get that out of your vocabulary. That, you don't need the devil stuff to express yourself. Mm. Well, it just thrilled me to death. Well, what am I supposed to say, Brother Copeland? It thrilled me to life? The only reason that sounds bad to you is because all your life you've been saying it thrilled me to death. Why don't you just say it thrilled me? Now there's a novel thought. <laughs> Jesus said, let your word be yes and no. All the rest comes from evil. So what, what, what is the point here? Don't tolerate that fear. It'll contaminate your faith. Don't tolerate it. He turned around to Jairus. He said, you stop that fear. Have faith only and sh only. You stop it. Don't have faith only. Believe only. Believe it. Stop it. Believe only. Use your faith only. She will be made whole. Now, I don't care what you're facing. This thing's caused you all, this, this, this mess that the devil brought in here it hit you hard financially. Stop the fear. Believe only. God will make you whole financially. Stop the fear. Say it. I stop the fear. I stop the fear. I use my faith only. I use my faith only. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm not a doubter. I'm not a doubter. I refuse my faith to be contaminated. I refuse my faith to be contaminated. I have faith in God. I have faith in God. Well, what about this thing? Well, have faith in God. What about your finances? Have faith in God. Don't have fear in the devil. Have faith in God. That's always the answer. Have faith in God. Yes. He has faith in you. He believes you're going to do exactly what you're supposed to do. Amen. He's interceding for you, pulling for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Now then, let's talk about this. Coronavirus is a curse of the law. We know that. We've gone through that. Let's go over there and read that. In Galatians 3, you need to put your eyes on it again. We've seen it lots of times. Verse eight, the scripture foreseeing. Now, wait a minute. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. This is just as much a manifestation of God as the father, the son and the Holy Spirit. That, I mean, it, hey, this is the word of God. Amen. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Same in the beginning with God. Understand? Now, when this book is speaking, it's speaking to you, but it is God speaking to you. Listen to this. The scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith preached. The word preached or God preached before the gospel unto Abraham saying, in thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are under the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Deuteronomy is book of the law. Curse of the law. Now, no man is justified or made righteous by the law in the sight of God. It is evident for the just, the righteous shall live by faith. The law is not of faith, but the man that does them live in them. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us, for it is written, where? In Deuteronomy 28. It is written, 
Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree. Excuse me, Deuteronomy 21, 23. Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree. That, that's, that was referring to Jesus. That the blessing, say it, the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. A Gentile is just somebody that doesn't know God. You're no longer a Gentile because you know God. The blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. We might receive what the Spirit promised to Abraham, the blessing, the blessing through faith. Glory to God. Brethren, I speak not after a manner of men, through it be but a man's covenant, yet if it confirm no man disannulls it. This is covenant, brother. This, this, when, it, when, when a covenant is made, it, it, it's forever. And God made covenant with us all these centuries ago. Praise God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our blood brother. We're Gentiles. Not anymore. Amen. We're no longer Gentiles. Now then, I wanted to, I wanted to get us there. Gloria, thank you for this. I got this out of your healing notes. Good. Faith is the resource, power, ability to receive the supernatural ability of God in your spirit, soul, body, and the circumstances of life. Praise God. Faith changes every situation when applied. Faith gives freedom from the curse poverty, disease, turmoil, and sadness. Praise God. Don't be sad through these things. But Brother Copeland, you don't understand my, 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 my grandfather's very sick. Don't be sad about it. What do you mean don't be sad about it? There's no faith in sadness. That's right. You get glad. So your faith is working. I have faith in God. I rebuke this. You can't even see this. We've been given dominion over, over everything that flies, everything that swims in the ocean, all the weather and the creeps. This little creep, little puny creep that one heat wave will kill it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you something, darling. Don't start grieving. I'm, tell, I'm telling you what, you become a problem. You get in there and, and they, they may not even let you in your grandfather's presence. I don't know if they will. Put your, put your mask on your face, get your oil bottle, get in there and lay hands on him, on your grandmother, on your dad, your mama. Get in there and lay hands on them. According to the book of James and curse that thing and stand there with a smile on your face and say, I have faith in God, sweetheart, and so do you. Yes, and right. this bug is not going to take you out. You're going to live long and not die and declare the works of the Lord. And we're out of time. Praise God. We'll be back in just a moment. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.